Hey, what's up guys? It's Scott with Let's Keep It Simple. And today, I'm gonna show you how to get the Twitter client loudmouth for your Apple TV. So first, all you need to do is head over to this website, links in the description, and download these three files. Next, we're gonna SSH into our Apple TV. So for Mac users, it's terminal, and for Windows, WinSCP. How you're going to access it is type in ssh space root at apple dash tv dot local. If you've never SSH into your Apple TV, your password is going to be Alpine by default. So then the next command that you're going to type in is apt dash get install wget. Press enter. And from here on out, you're just going to want to copy and paste the commands that are on this command list that you'll find in the description below. Take your time and make sure that you're copying and pasting the exact link and just do them one at a time and press enter. The steps should be pretty simple and you'll be done before you know it. Now it's important to know that this is a beta version, meaning that it's not completely done and by no means is it going to be perfect. Just want to let you know that before you decide to install it. Your last command will be kill all Apple TV and it's time to head on over to the Apple TV. So now you'll see the loud mouth on the Apple TV menu. Go into settings and scroll on down to add account. Next press set username and enter in your Twitter handle and your password. Once it's successfully authenticated, press menu and go to select account and the new account that you just made. Once you've done that, press menu and go back to the home screen where you can go to the Twitter timeline and the post update. And here you can just scroll on down like you would through a normal Twitter client and you can see what other people have said. And you can also go into post update where you can compose your own tweets and send them out right from your Apple TV. Typing was a bit of a pain, but you can go ahead and install an exposed and you'll be able to use your computer to type. So this is my first tweet on the Apple TV, so let's go see if it worked. Scroll on up. And there we go, it worked. So now you can retweet, reply, send direct message, or check out the profile. Well, that's the basics for Loudmouth. Now it's time to find out what you guys think. If you like this app and have any helpful feedback, leave a comment below and send a tweet to at TomCool420, letting them know your thoughts. Well, that's all for this simple video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.